All right, welcome back to your 13th video on introduction to JavaScript. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create our own function. So for this example, we're gonna create an alert function. So you know those super annoying pop-ups that happen all over the web, like click here for your free iPod, or you're the one millionth customer, click here to redeem your cash, or Best Buy gift certificate, or whatever. Well, all these programs are made in JavaScript, and we're gonna go ahead and make one right now. We're just gonna make one super simple, and one that is not going to be too annoying. So let's go ahead and first start calling our function by typing function. And we can call this whatever we want. We just need to remember it because we need to be able to call it later. And just uh, keep in mind we're still using camel case for calling functions. So I'll just call this my first function and we'll give it parameters with no argument and now let's give it our curly braces to execute whatever we want to execute. And for this example, we will use an alert box. So let's type in alert, which is um, a predefined or a, a program that's already been created in JavaScript. We just need to type alert, give it the parameters, and JavaScript in the browser will know what to do from here. So in here, let's type our first user made function. Yay. Okay, so let's close this out. But if we save this and we re reload it in our browser, nothing's going to happen because we just created it. We haven't called it yet. And there's a bunch of different ways how to call it. And for this example, I will introduce the onClick JavaScript tag, which goes hand in hand with HTML. So let's go ahead and type button, give it a space, and then onClick. You could either have a capital C right there for camel case, or you could just have C. And I think most browsers, most popular browsers, will render it the same exact way. We'll try it. We'll try it with the capital C first. And we'll set this equal to whatever we named our function. So we called it my first function. And what am I missing? I'm missing my parameters. And that looks pretty good. Now, what do we want to... Oh, my God. Sorry about this. Silence. <sighs> It's gonna have to wait. Okay, and uh, what do we want to put inside our button now? I'll just type click me. Now let's go ahead and close out our button HTML tag. Now let's go ahead and save it. Now let's reload it in the browser. And there it is. Our oh my god. Our button just showed up. Now to execute the program, we set it up where we need to click this button right here for our alert. Uh, pop-up browser to execute this right here. So let's go ahead and click our button and there it is, our first user made function. So we just created our first user made function in JavaScript and hopefully you guys are following along and a little recap, we created a function inside our script tags and then we called it out here and we called it out here uh, using our onclick JavaScript tag inside our button HTML tag. So hopefully you guys are following along. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. We are either going to use, uh, we're going to learn the return statement or, yeah, I think it's the return statement. So good luck with this. We'll see you guys there.